Hi, I'm Ryan Parks, and you're watching my tutorial series by using your Mesa Guitar in Ableton Live. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over some of Ableton's MIDI plugins, including the pitch, and the scale, and the arpeggiator. By the end, you'll be able to incorporate them into your projects and improve your guitar's performability. Applying this trick to your live performance setup is going to require you to keep on top of what key you're playing in, and you'll have to switch your scale plugins accordingly. So here in Ableton, we'll need to set up a MIDI track that's going to handle all incoming MIDI. I'm going to make a new MIDI track. I'll drag it to the front here. We're going to label it key. Now in our MIDI effects section, let's go to the scale. We're going to drag in a C major scale and a C minor scale. Make sure that only one of these scale plugins is on at a time. Also in the MIDI effects section, let's take a pitch plugin and put that out front. We're going to use this pitch plugin if we want to do any transposition. This is useful if you want to maintain your fingerings on the guitar. Next, we have to route our MIDI. Let's switch our key track to monitor in. We can leave the MIDI from from all ends. For our MIDI 2, we're going to want to switch it to our Katara track. And we're going to want to tell the Katara track to look at the key track for its MIDI. Now the MIDI signal is going to come in from the Katara into the key track and then leave into the Katara track. Doing this will filter the MIDI signal through these scale plugins. As you can see, every fret on the guitar still makes a note, but only the notes that I've selected in the MIDI scale plugin. In our guitar track, let's drag an arpeggiator into the beginning of the instrument rack. Generally, I use the arpeggiator on a case-to-case -case basis, so that's why I'm putting it right into the instrument instead of in the key track. Next, let's map the arpeggiator. Click the Map button on the instrument rack, and let's set the plug-in arm button to drag Y. We're going to do this so the arpeggiator is only activated when we adjust the rate and want to get the effect. Let's change our minimum to 1, and our maximum to 0. We're also going to map the rate on the arpeggiator to the drag Y. And the rate is pretty extreme here, so I'm going to change the minimum to 1 fourth, and I'm going to change the maximum to 1 32nd. So I hope this video was helpful in giving you a little smoother performance. Feel free to post any setups or projects that you guys are working on. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates on my videos and have fun.